So this is my pink toed tarantula, Avicularia versicolor. Um, I, I don't know if this is male or female, but I'm, I call this particular spider Stella. I believe that, uh, yeah, <laughs> I believe that's a reference to a streetcar named Desire, um, which I have yet to read. Disappointed in myself for that. Um, anyway, so yesterday I've been I've been waiting for her to web up again because um, I had to clean out her old web because it was just it was just absolutely disgusting and now it's out of focus focus thank you um, and I've been waiting for her to do this for a good three months or so and then yesterday apparently one of the hornworms I fed her didn't get eaten and had buried itself and turned itself into a moth and she caught it yesterday and ate it and I wish I'd known that's what she was doing because I would have come down here to film that because that's a pretty cool experience being able to to watch them catch stuff and eat it and the hornworm moths they're hummingbird moths I believe and they get pretty daggone big so I'm guessing that's what she needed to uh, to be able to start webbing up again um, I'm absolutely thrilled about this. She's got some smag some of the sphagnum moss in there. And there's some more down here that she got caught in it. And oh look there you got a good shot of her fangs. Those are her the bottom of her feet and they're just so pretty. Um, obviously this is the underside, otherwise you'd see the pink on her toes, which is why they're called pink toad. But um, I just love that I get to see this, and now you get to see this too. Oh, and she's grabbing some more pieces of the substrate with her fangs. <laughs> wow, she's really going all out to make herself a really interesting little web there. Oh, I love it. That is just so cool. I love it. I love it. How often do you get to actually see this? Oh, and speaking of spider webs, there's apparently a, 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 an orb weaver outside of our back door. And I, uh, I walked into its web because I couldn't see the web. <laughs> that was an interesting experience because I like spiders and I like the orb weavers. But when you're not expecting a web to be there and all of a sudden you're walking into one, that's an experience of a different color. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting to say the least. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Look at that. She's placing it right where she wants to place it. Well, trying to place it anyway. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess she doesn't like that placement. Oh, no, I think she's putting it back in her, in her fang. Here you go. Wow, look at that thing. Isn't that amazing? I love it. There she goes. She's like, yeah, I think I'll just leave it right here. That'll work. That'll work. You know, sometimes I feel like when I watch these uh, videos of, of spiders doing their thing, that sometimes you just need a specific type of narration, which I am not the person for that. Oh, and here's my hand just for size comparison. So she's really not that big, not yet. And again, I don't even know. Oh wow, my flash is on. I didn't even realize that. There we go. Of course, now you see my reflection, which nobody needs to see that. Um, yeah, it's not working out that great. I don't even know what I need to do. Yeah, she's a. Uh, she's not all that big. <laughs> 